um, uh, I'm Curtis Hinsley. Kit is my nickname. Uh, I, am, um, I live in West Sedona. I'm a Regents Professor Emeritus of American History at NAU, and my wife Victoria, who is also a Professor of History there, and I'm actually speaking for both of us, have lived here for 10 years. My comments are general. Uh, other people will make more specific ones. I see the issues facing Yavapai Community College and its relationship to Sedona and the Verde Valley communities as ones of fairness and social justice. Unlike statewide public universities and certainly all private colleges, the system of county-based community colleges that began in the early 20th century was and still is intended to provide educational opportunities to specific demographic locales, reflecting and covering the county units of representation. The reason for this is clear enough. Despite the general homogenization of our society, people on one side of the mountain in this case literally on one side of the mountain, are not necessarily doing the same things as people on the other side of the mountain. Furthermore, in the American educational model, there is no really no other uh, institution that will fill the void or the gap between the two if a gap sh uh, should occur and it appears that one has occurred. To my mind at least, it's not actually so much a question of taxpayers getting their fair share as it is a question of equitable coverage and uh, consideration and opportunity for those students of any age who need it. Even if the Verde Valley communities provided less taxpayer support than they do, Yavapai Community College should still be providing much greater attention and services to these parts of their defined region. To fail to do so should be grounds for administrative reorganization. In his prize-winning book of 2013 entitled First in the World, Community Colleges and America's Future, J. Noah Brown, who was the president and CEO of the Association of Community College Trustees, wrote about the vital intersection between America's community colleges and our country's need to regain its economic momentum and position in the world. He argues that lay citizens' boards, such as our advisory board here tonight, must work in tandem with community college presidents to ensure that both policy and operations closely reflect the needs of the students and their communities. Specifically, his chapters on leading with accountability, citizen governance, and operating under conditions of resource scarcity, and also follow through, or what he calls completion matters, should be required reading for every administrator at Yavapai College. America has been built from the bottom up, and the United States is ultimately regional. Okay, uh, no one should be left out or denied opportunity, and that is a one-hour lecture reduced to three minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Never thought I'd be behind one of these before. Thank you very much.